Okay, everybody, um, we'll go ahead and we'll start with an opening statement from the coach and then we'll take questions. Well, first of all, I'm just proud of the team. They had a great, a great game plan. They got into that one, one, three zone, kind of mixed it up a little bit. The sky's their main coverage and they did a great job. They made us think in the first half and second half, we kind of figured it out, played better defense and, and got a great victory. Uh, let's go ahead with uh, first question, Jason, please. Hey, Penny, um, could you talk a little bit more about what uh, what led to you guys starting to click in the second half? I mean, there was like a big run to start the second half. I want to say it was like 16-3 over like a two-minute span, and then there was another 8 or 10-0 eight or run um, later in the second half. What was it that, that had you guys clicking? Well, I think they just settled the nerves. I think everybody comes out trying to do too much at one time. They all want to do well, but sometimes it kind of backfires on us. And when we gather our nerves and then kind of settle down, everybody starts to understand the flow of the game and things start to work a lot better for us. So I think that's what happened. Our flow just got a lot better. Next question, Terry. Hey, congrats on the win, coach. Thank you. Hey man, I know you gotta be proud of this gotta be one of your better efficiently offensive game with only 10 turnovers and 17 offense rebounds. How far can you go if you guys can continue to do this for the next four games? Man, we can go, we can get the championship and win it if we play this way because if you're crashing the glass like that, like Lester was doing, doing, like DeAndre was doing, like DJ was doing, those guys were all over the glass. It's a huge advantage for us because it adds to our points and it gives us um our second opportunities. And that's what you want as a coach. We've seen Houston do it to us. And um, we've learned from that. And we have an offensive rebounding team as well. In the first half, we really didn't get many. Second half, we, 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 we did better. And uh, if we can do that, then we'll be tough to beat. Next question, Christian. Yeah, Coach, you just talked about offensive rebounding a little bit. I know you talked a lot about it after the Houston loss in the tournament. Uh, you hold their leading rebounder in Shamanga to zero rebounds. Uh, you crash the offensive boards and and win with an advantage there of 17 to two. Uh, how important was that in this game? It was very important. Uh, we knew when they uh, they had two guys out that they were going to be undermanned. They're going to play more wing perimeter guys than big men, and uh, we took advantage of it. The guys got hungrier for the for the win, and that led to more offensive rebounds. They started just really being very aggressive going to the glass. And uh, that worked out well for us. And we boxed out the big fella so that he couldn't, he couldn't get his average. Clayton. Clayton Collier, are you, are you there still? Yep, sorry, I was having a tough time with the mute button. Uh, coach, with, um, you know, there were a lot of teams that decided not to play in the NIT, um, you know, for one reason or another, just can you just speak to the benefit? I mean, you see what you guys did today of where you guys can be and what this tournament can do for you guys, not only this year, but moving into next year, because it seems like you guys have really started to piece it together, you know, down the stretch here. Yeah, it's just about momentum with us. Obviously, we're, you know, being the number one seed in the NIT, uh, we're definitely thankful for that. Uh, we want to win the championship. We wanted to extend our season. We wanted to get better as a group because we missed three weeks of the season with the COVID pause. So we wanted more games and we were thankful for the uh, opportunity. We'll go ahead with uh, three more that are lined up. First, uh, Jeff. Yeah, hey Penny, uh, two things. In the NIT, sometimes you, teams want it more than others and you wonder what the mentality of your team will be. Is it Was it clear to you from the start that your team was locked in and is that a good sign moving forward in terms of creating the momentum? Yeah, it is very important. And I knew that the team was locked in because we were in a, uh, both shoot arounds yesterday. The guys were locked in. So, you know, we want to win it. If we're going to be in anything. We want to win it. You know, we felt like, obviously, like a lot of other teams, that we should have been in the NCAA tournament. We didn't do that. We have the opportunity to still win a championship. And the NIT is a beautiful tournament. It's a great tournament. And uh, there are a lot of good teams in this tournament. And uh, we really were, were happy to be here. And we want to win a championship. Can this spill over into next year in a positive way? Obviously it can because we're building our, who we are, you know, our culture, our system and who we are. We're basically stamping it right now. And it'd be beautiful to end it uh, with a championship. Thanks, Penny. Appreciate it.
Next up, Jason. Hey, Penny, how do you, um, if, if someone's to ask you how you explain uh, the importance of Lester Quinones, uh, the, the way he plays, what he gives to the team, how do you do that? How do you explain uh, just how valuable he is to this team? Well, I mean, for me, I have to argue with him every day about how good he could be if he plays this way. He, he's probably a triple a walking triple-double if he wanted to play this way every, every game. He just won't buy into that all the time. He's very valuable to our team because of what he brings with his toughness his defense, his shot-making ability, and obviously he just crashing the glass. Nobody can keep him off the glass. So if he came in with that mindset every day, let everything else just come to him, and he would play this way every day. He's always valuable every game, but he could put up huge numbers every game. When he doesn't uh, play this way, um, what is it that gets in the way? What is, what, what's the reason for that? I think he wants to score more, and I think that takes away from him being a guy that does it on all levels. And I think he can do everything – plays enough minutes, he's tough enough, he's athletic enough, and he's good enough to get it all done. The days that he doesn't, he's more worried about getting shots up, and he shouldn't be worried about that because he can shoot the ball whenever he wants. He just has to continue to play like, like he played today. Appreciate it. And we'll finish up with Danielle, please. When a team is shooting 50% from the floor against you, um, but you're still managing to, to win in other ways, is that – is that due to the guys, you know, having to have the mental resiliency to kind of block that out? Or is that something where you just tell them, okay, hey, look, like, don't worry about that. We need to make sure that we compensate on the glass. We compensate by doing this. Like, do you have to direct them, I guess, to, to block that out and refocus on something else? Yeah, I think they're, they're all in the mindset of when you hear them talk that we're never out of a game. We're always going to try to find another way. If, we're not, if it's not plugging in one area. We got to find in the other areas. And today they shot the ball really well. We got to give it up to them. They didn't get many shots up, but they shot 50%. But we knew that we could crash the glass. We could win the free throw game. We could get fast break points. We could get it in other ways. And uh, that's what we did today. Okay, we'll uh, be done with coach and Lester's coming up next. Well, I'd like to say uh, to Jarvis Greer, I know he just uh, battled uh, cancer and, and, and got through it. Let's say Jarvis, can't wait to get back and see you, man. Just God bless and you know, and uh, you're a legend in our town, and congratulations on that. God bless.